So we was finally able to get these two together. And as you can see, side by side, how they look. The Defender sets probably an inch to two inches taller at the roof of the cab. And you might can't see it in video, might can, but the uh, tires and stuff, you can see they're almost identical in size. And on both of these machines, the front is bigger or littler than the back. Uh, I'm trying to find the size, but I know that these are 30 by nine by 14. And I think these, yeah, they're 30 by 10 by 15. And the back's 30 by 11 by 15 on this. Why am I not finding it? Yeah, 30 by 11 by 15. And these are 30 by 11 by 14, or 30 by 10 by 14. Here they are from the back. But look how much taller. This is what I was telling you guys. Look how much taller the tailgate is on this compared to this. So farmers, that's why this is such a better machine because you can load and unload in this a hundred times better if you're trying to than you can this high. I mean, this thing's way upper. Box size is bigger on this. Uh, but let's look at the A-arms and stuff. See the A-arms on there? And then look at the arms over here. They really, really beef these up. They're boxed and they're massive. Now the upper ones are not that big, but this is where you're gonna hit rocks and stuff. And you can see here how much narrower that is compared to this over here. As far as the ground clearance, they look really close. Um, I would say that the Expedition is probably one inch taller ground clearance wise, but I know he had the front of this winch down and it might not have come all the way up yet. Um, we'll see in a little bit, but you guys can kind of judge, you know, look how much bigger this windshield is on here. That's what I was talking about on the visibility. The visibility on this, it's a lot harder to see over your nose because, you know, when you're looking at the Defender, your windows are further down and then your front windshield is so much longer and your nose is a lot shorter. So when you're sitting in here, you can see in front of you so well as compared to sitting in here. You see what I mean? Like you, you're further back and your nose is longer and then you can't see down as well. So it takes a minute to get used to it if you're coming from a Defender and you're wanting to switch to one of these or a Ranger. Um, the Ranger you can see out the front end better um, than this. It's about the same as this. Uh, in the, the 2023s and, or 22 and a half and up, they really, really changed the visibility in these. And I mean, look at this. You can see so well through here i mean it just it's great here's one of them boss audio units that i had installed in one of our other ones um, you can put a backup camera on this and a front facing camera this has the rear view can-am mirror so you can see behind you when you put it in reverse it has a polk audio system set up pretty much the same way as we had before but uh both great machines and both of them have a 4500 pound winch this one's hidden behind here whereas this one's not but let's look at the front a arms so you can see and then like i said these shocks i mean look at these shocks and then this These do have some good bracing on top, but your bottom's usually where you bend stuff. But look at the shocks. Although I can tell you that the 23s ride so much better than anything back. The tires are bigger, so you've got more of a cushy ride. But the 23s with the 30s is a hairline louder in the cab because these are some severely knobby tires. And these go really well. 
This one has the Visco lock, the 2023, and this has the Polaris locker. Polaris locker works better. I wish that this had the uh, new smart lock in it, but either way, you guys are gonna get to see a good comparison on the trail, kind of give you a walk around the machines. You see the doors open on this backwards, doors open on this frontwards. As far as the length, they are really close. I would say the Defender is probably an inch or so longer from tail to nose. Uh, other than that, you've got hitches that are, you know, two inch, just like that across the board. Uh, both of them have sway bars front and rear. This um, Defender is running a 14 inch wheel. This run a 15, four lug, five lug. But let's look at the brakes. So the rear brakes on here, you can see they're much, much littler than this. See how much bigger? But these are not drilled and slotted. So when you hit water and stuff with these, it's not gonna work as well as if this drilled and slotted one would. I don't know why on these they didn't drill and slot them. I think that was an ignorant move on Polaris's part and I have no clue. But the brakes on this are twice as big as this. But the Defender's braking system isn't as good if you guys don't know. They, they, they're just spongy. But other than that, you've got synthetic rope where this one has the metal cable. You can see in here. But inside the cab of that, when you're riding, it's so much quieter than this. This is loud, but I'll give you guys a show of the inside. Five seats in this. You've got electronic switches up here for all your windows, windshield washer fluid, four wheel drive system, three comfort modes, winch, and then ride command. These seats are extremely comfortable. I think these are way more comfortable than a Ranger, um, but you can see in here, Polaris or can -Am doesn't have a ride command system yet or something like it, but I think they will in 25 or 26. But I think these tires, as far as height are, I mean, I know they're both 30 inches and that may sound weird to some of you, but tires vary. Um, you know, they're not all the same, even though they might say 30 or 32 that doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna have the same height. It all depends on tread, how they're, you know, if they're rounded, if they're squared, there's a lot to that. Um, this is a more of a squared tire. I prefer the look of a squared tire, whereas this one's rounded. And what you, you know, you can look at it and see how it's squared off, where this is rounded. See that? Here's your headlights. These come with LEDs. This comes with regular halogens, but we put LEDs in it, as you can see here. And these work really well. I mean, they're, they're extremely bright at night. Um, the rear of these needs something for the um, back light part. But let's look at the rear shock while we're back here. So I think these are three inch and these are probably two and a half, but you can see how much shorter that shock is in comparison to like this. Plus you've got dampening on this at the top of the shock where you can change the actual, how you want it smooth, medium, soft. I would say the bed on this is probably 10 inches shorter than the defender and it's probably six inches narrower um 
this is more of a tucked machine whereas this is kind of a squared up body the um defenders are squared up like straight up and down but we're gonna take them both on the trail see how they do on the trail we're down at brimstone if you guys got any questions let me know i'll try to answer them the best hopefully this comparison helps you guys see both machines and what you want to choose if you're going farming and you want the absolute quietest ride and the most seats go the defender if you want the most trail any oriented machine and you don't need six seats i would go with this both excellent machines the windows and stuff like i was talking about in this one you have powered in the front right here and the rear are mechanical so you've got to roll it up with your arm but my goodness the visibility in this thing is so good i mean by far this machine has the best visibility of any machine out is that right jt
they tie to the where it's on that ball.
Honda's is a 23 Can-Am Defender Limited.
Yeah. Then so we can just go all right. right. Then we can just turn and go all right. But I mean, the sun's already starting to go down. She said that JT doesn't have his like night glasses. Cross. 
all around brimstone P1. I'm almost 100% sure. But I think this one you can follow. Is that P1 or B? This says B3. It says we're on B3 trail. But I think this is the main one that wraps all the way around. But, like I said, it'll be getting dark and like... Well, if you follow the main trail, it takes you into like the camp and all that stuff there. So that's where we get the maps and everything. 